Today out here on the farm, we're gonna be doing a little bit of farming. <laughs> we're gonna be sowing some seeds, starting some flats of seeds, and doing some sprouting, and getting to work on this garden so that it can last us for a really long time and provide us with food. Let's go out and <laughs> let's go out and uh, take a look and see what Ellie and Maggie are up to. Well, no one's out here right now. Must be inside getting ready with the seeds, but there's the garden. It's very nice that there's a yurt right over to the side too, so there's a, a whole nother house there, really. There's a wood burning stove in there as well. And you can see the internet is bolted to that stump in the yard. <laughs> This is Pinto. Hey, Pinto. We're staying right over here next to the house. There's lots of Dodge Cummins diesels here. There's three on the property right now. I gotta change clothes, so I'm gonna put on some shorts and some work shoes and get some work done. Oh, by the way, Pinto is a, I'm pantsless right now. Pinto is half Chihuahua, half Jack Russell Terrier. Uh, he's quite the tenacious little dog. But uh, I just thought I'd tell you about what he is. I decided to go with shorts and a t-shirt and hiking boots. I know, pretty pretty nice, huh? <laughs> yep. Uh, I think I'm going to be shoveling a lot of mulch and moving it up the hill, maybe driving the tractor around a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see what's happening. I'm going to get the microphone with the windproof thing on it because that's going to be a problem, I can tell. I've switched over to the new microphone and GoPro. I'm going to leave this one for other shots. Maybe a time lapse would be good for this one. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Time lapsey. Oh yeah, I forgot I was recording. Well, we'll see how this new setup works for the wind. Here's the back side of the yurt, and you can see the stove pipe. I'm thinking of putting these four in one bed. It's parsnips, turnips, bok choy and arugula. I know that's a lot for one bed, but I'm thinking that a lot of these seeds are actually pretty old and they're not going to come up. So we'll see what happens. Then I'm thinking about planting these beets, brilliant beet blend, um, with the garlic that's already in there, spacing them between them. Then I have to figure out what to do with sweet peas and snap peas because they need to be trellised because they climb up. So I'll have to figure out that still. These three radishes, salad greens, and carrots I'm gonna plant together because I read somewhere that they're good companion plants. These ones, I'm, I have the carrots, I have faith that they're gonna grow because they're pretty new seeds. The other two, questionable. Come around this side. Okay. So those three are gonna go in a bed. And then these are all the ones that I'm gonna start in um, flats and keep inside at night. So catnip, thyme, parsley, and then here's um, marigolds, which are, I think, I think pot marigolds might be the same thing as colangelo, but I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure, which is medicinal. Milkweed, which is going to be great for attracting butterflies. And then I'm going to try this celery, but again, these seeds are from 2010, so not, I don't have a lot of hope for that. Then I'm going to put, I have three different kinds of basil. 
And so I'm gonna start a bunch of flats of basil. They're not ready to go out yet because we still might get a frost, so I'll start them in flats. And then this one is um, a tobacco, um, which is really incredible flower. It's really great um, because it kills flies because it's really sticky. It has really sticky leaves, so they get stuck to it. And it's like a ceremonial um, tobacco. It's a, it's a special, these seeds are really special. So, and it's obviously can be smoked, the leaves, once they're dried. Woo! <laughs> he <laughs> likes smoking. <laughs> Um, so that's where I am. So I just want to talk to Maggie about where, which beds I can use and where to put the flats. Yep. And I need the keys to the tractor. <laughs> I'm going to go show the succulents how they're doing right now. Uh, they are spending some time inside in a nice calm environment nice and warm and free from vibration they're looking pretty good I might need to throw a little water on them a saguaro cactus oh and there's a bee there's our saguaro seeds hopefully they'll sprout out it's supposed to be three to ten days before it comes up. Sweet buns. <laughs> Those are the sticky buns. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not sticky. <laughs> so, it's the garden. You want to give us a tour? Um, I don't know how well I can do that, but you can play at things. And roses. Smile. <laughs> These are roses that have been here oh, before Maggie ever lived here, so I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not good with trees. I think they are apples, right? There's definitely a lot of apples. Yeah. I don't know if they're all apples. Those what's ones the, are real cool. What's the white uh, flowered tree? Um, let's see if it says. Oh, it's got a tag. How? Pear. Asian pear. Ooh, Asian pear. Yum. Look how pretty. Awesome. Well, all the little bees in there. It's awesome. Yeah. You know what this one is? Uh, rosemary. Yes, sir. One of my favorites. See if you can tell what that one is. Well, you can tell the chive. See if I can tell what this one is? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Obviously, you know what it is. No, not that one. Oh. Oh, this one. Don't say anything yet. Like mint? I don't know exactly, but that's not what I would guess. I mean, it, it smells like thyme to me. Closer. Yeah. I but the only thing, the only reason I wouldn't say thyme because I think she said she didn't have thyme. I think it's oregano. Oregano, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's oregano. Mmm, that's good. And these, I think, are some sort of alien, like some sort of onion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Look at that. So when we stay yeah. to come, but we need to come harvest chives is what we're talking about. And mm -hmm. you can just see where it's pinched back. Yeah. There's you another one down there. Cut them. And then moving along on our tour. <coughs> this whole bed is, the spiky things are irises. And in between them, I think those are violets. And then in the back, these branches, those are great. Do they need to be? Oh, they've already been cut. Yeah, in the fall, I think. More rosemary. I um, love rosemary. Rosemary is one of my favorites. I don't know what this is.
I would think some sort of herb, but I don't know. Hmm, let's see. I always like chew on it. <laughs> I'm Doesn't taste like much to me, so maybe it's not an herb. I don't know. Mm. I'm not sure about that one. Um, these two bed beds, this is garlic. So this is where I was kind of thinking of planting the beets in here with the garlic. Mm -hmm. These are cannabis stalks. That are left over from the fall. Good old campus stocks. You know that one. Uh, strawberries? Yep. Yep. Strawberries, raspberries, or blackberries. Probably raspberries. bolted kale that we're, we're still eating. It's probably planted in the fall. Then this is, I think, fava bean that's just used as like a ground cover to, to build up the soil nutrients during the winter. Cover crop. Cover crop. <laughs> Looks like not much in here. Just a little cannabis stalk. So you just leave the cannabis stalk, it's good for nutrients to go back. I think it probably just is easier to let it die before you pull it out. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're so rooted in there, you have to dig it pretty hard. Mm -hmm. These are some old uh, onions that have just like reseeded themselves. And there could be some onions in there. Um, they're pretty soft and not really edible, but uh. she says she uses the uh, greens. So we might pull these out and. Um, Put something else this might be where we yeah where we one of the gardens beds we use maybe at least part of it this you know this one i taste it it's a lot yeah i'll taste it let me see i already know what this is one of our favorites we eat it all the time read and weave jason <laughs> cilantro mm-hmm this is more garlic that was planted at the same time as that other garlic, and clearly it's not doing as well. So she doesn't know why, but this might mm. be another bed we could use. And then there's some beds down here if you want to keep going. Mm -hmm. That's the compost bin. If you want to look in there. Oh, those are. Oh, uh, I think those are all little fruit trees. Nice up there. And all of the stuff on the ground is, uh, um, it's, what's it called? Sheet mulching? It's a permaculture thing, I think. When you put cardboard down, because there, there's a lot of poison oak there that she's trying to kill. So you can put um, cardboard or plastic or something, but usually, I think cardboard. And you can mulch over top of it and try and kill the invasive species. This is where it all happens. <laughs> the compost. It's where we put all our food scraps and paper, a lot of compostable things from restaurants and whatever. I mean like the packaging, if you get takeout food, when it says it's compostable, that means you can go in here and turn into soil. Uh, Here's another chive, and she has she had um, asparagus planted in here, but which usually takes a couple of years to really take off, I believe. But I don't really see any. But here's the two that she did get, <laughs> and you just like snap them off I think and put them back in and that helps like reseeds that I think that's a bleeding heart 
flower. Mm -hmm. Artichoke. Mm. Artichoke. I believe. I think. Is this broccoli? What is it? Some sort of brassica. Maybe a cabbage, maybe, or I don't know. I have no idea. Cool. Surprise, I like surprises. And then cover, cover crop and kale. And then here you can see, like this is a good example of like the sheet mulching. When she just put all this paper down and to try and start a new bed here. And so you can really see that that's becoming really viable soil. That's the right word. So that's another potential for planting. I think that's it. Thanks for the tour. Thanks, thanks for coming. There's the view. <laughs> there's Pinto. Hey, buddy. Wink, wink. Hi. Hey, buddy. Oh, hi. Hey. You'll probably must be in the background. I'm pretty good at just like, I'll keep you just on the edge or, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, no, I was going to see if you would go down and get the seed packets. All of them that are on the counter? No, like all of those herbs and the, the right half of them, it's like all, those are I'm going to put into flats. So I need like everything on kind of the left hand side, like the the carrots, bed. radish, Thank beets, you. arugula, oh turnip, or oh parsley. Okay. I'm doing a little bit of cleanup right now, getting things put away, but we planted a few beds. Right here we have double D beets. Got a few rows of beets going on. This is another variety of beets. These are uh, BB beets, brilliant beets. In this bed, we also have some more stuff. I forget what it is, but we have a steak here. Oh, this is, this one is the BB Beats. The whole other one is Detroit Dark Beats, and these are Brilliant Beats. So we got those two done. Then, over here, we planted a bunch of things. This one is not planted, we haven't messed with it, but we did start working the bed a little bit. And back here, we have three rows of carrots. We have uh, 
salad mix. We have radishes. And we have another row of salad mix. We're just kind of interdoing them. Oh, I almost forgot about this one down here. We did a little bit in this one as well. This one's got some arugula. Along this back row here, we've got bok choy. And we have turnips. We got a lot of things going just to, you know, get the garden really growing for the coming months. Who knows what it might be like, but being prepared feels really good. And we did a bunch of seed flats as well. I'll take you down below and show you the flats of seeds that we put out. Three different kinds of bas basils, all in this one. We got sweet peas, celery, catnip, thyme, and parsley. What do we got here? Uh, this is burdock root. Burdock root. It looks root kind of mind. like a carrot. And look how beautiful it is. Can you see that? Get really close. That's awesome. Burdock root is delicious. I just tasted it for the first time yesterday and I love it. It is awesome. We're here making some soup. We have some homemade chicken broth and a bunch of veggies and some udon. wide udon noodles and a basket full of spices. Mm -hmm. yep. I imagine we'll put a bunch of ginger in there. This is kind Keep of our stuff. immune system strong. This is the kind of stuff we've been eating. Nice, natural, homegrown type foods. We just planted a whole bunch of stuff in the garden today and started some seeds. Yeah. And eating yeah. from the garden. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Pretty grateful. regularly. Pretty grateful for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I think we should get some chickens. Yeah, we should get a bunch of animals. Mm hmm. Chickens and goats. And sheep, and lamb. Yep. And um, this count is like a little too high for me. I'm gonna get you one of those little school stools, <laughs> a little plastic. <laughs> yeah. For kids, like, brush their teeth. Yep. Well, we um, had a very productive day today. Yeah. People have been loving these videos. That's productive. <laughs> I took one yesterday. <laughs> I'm right on target. Maggie's taking one right now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, super productive, even though we woke up at like noon. Yeah, I didn't get out of bed well, until noon 30. that's not when I woke up, but that's when we got out of the van. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go. People have been loving these update videos, so we're going to keep cranking them out. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching this is and the first one you've for commenting. Been, this is the first one you've been seen on, actually. Really? Yeah. I'm always filming. Pretty sure. Mm -hmm. On the other side. Not today. All sorts of stuff going on today. Ellie in hiding. <laughs> it's like a little bit like where's Waldo. Where's Ellie? Did you see that meme that was like just Waldo in the middle of the street? No. Like <laughs> <laughs> no one else there. It's pretty good. Nobody else is That's there. That's pretty funny. I like that. I've always loved Wal Where's Waldo. All right. Well, we're going to get going. Thanks for watching, guys. We love you. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.